Got a warning tonight. Vehicles that were underwater during Hurricanes Harvey and Irma are now hitting the used car market. Some sellers go to great lengths trying to hide all the damage, and then they move those vehicles to states like the Carolinas. Action 9 investigator Jason Stujanke went to great lengths himself to show you how to spot flood damage. It was one of the days that it started to ice. Ricky Magwood crashed into the SUV in front of her. My car slammed right into the back of it. And her car was totaled. She's been shopping for a used one ever since. She worries about shady dealers tricking her into buying one with damage, including flood damage. Do you think you'd even be able to spot flood damage? No, not at all. I'm not an expert. So, I mean, like, what would you look for? That's where Action 9 comes in. I want to show you exactly what to look for. So I asked Carfax to come to Charlotte and bring two cars that look almost identical. One of these cars was full of water, completely submerged in Hurricane Harvey. The one on the left was submerged, the one on the right was not. We tend to overlook some of these obvious signs that are sitting right in front of our face. For starters, the smell, musty, mildewy, or even the opposite. Yep. Detergents, shampoos, you know, the, uh, the car trees, all that stuff could indicate that somebody's trying to hide an odor that probably shouldn't be there. Look for water stains or other moisture. I found these bubbles in a tail light. That is flood water from Harvey that's been sitting there for six months plus now. And most importantly, look at the metal there was inside the vehicle. So I see some rust right over here. Yep. Maybe back here a little bit on this pedal. Yep. On the wheels. But this, this is excessive. Mm -hmm. And if you look on the car right behind you, you don't see that excessive rust that's on a car like this. Under the hood, you can see a lot of white corrosion. You see some rust here on the fan belt. It's orange. It is. Right down in there. Yep. And even inside the fuse box. And if we take one of these out, you know, you've got corrosion mm. that's building up on, on those fuses. Right. That's harder to hide. Missing these red flags cost you big. Somebody paying a lot more than these cars are actually worth. I told Magwood all of these warning signs so she doesn't fall victim. And you want something safe. You want something that isn't going to cause you problems later, especially if you're a hardworking citizen and invest your money into a vehicle, something that's, you know, expensive. In Concord, Jason Stujanke, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. A lot to look at. So if you didn't catch all of that, go to WSOCTV.com. Jason posted a video showing you exactly what to look for. And he will also be on Facebook in five minutes to show you all of it live and answer any of your questions. So go to his Facebook page, Jason Stujanke, WSOC TV reporter.